Today on How to Film, we're going to be looking at how to create a Star Wars style prologue text crawl. This is beginner level, super easy, it doesn't require any plugins, and it's just in time for the new Star Wars film coming out this December so that all of you can start creating some videos to put up on your social media and all that good stuff. Let's get started. This is how to film a YouTube video or anything. Since this effect is all about text, let's go ahead and work on the text layer first. Okay, let's create a new composition. And we'll call this Star Wars text. Okay, now what we want to do is click on the text tool, T. And instead of just typing text like we normally do, let's go ahead and create a bounding box by going up to one corner. Uh, hold your mouse down and drag drag the mouse across the screen till you make a box. And uh, we can adjust the size of this later, so let's just do the best we can. Okay, now over by character here, we want to uh, pick Franklin Gothic Medium. And let's also pick a color that's... Uh, kind of close to the Star Wars color. Of course, you can uh, choose any font you want and choose any color you want, but this will help it look like the Star Wars font. And so kind of a tan color is gonna work pretty good. Now, uh, I have the pitch set to 120 and uh, the spacing to 140, just to kind of space it out, which is gonna help us out. And then you can see if I start to type the opening prologue, uh, it looks like this. It is a period of civil war, period. Okay, now you can also uh, copy and paste, and so that is what I'm going to do here. Let me just kill that and go ahead and paste in the whole thing, which says it is a period of civil war, rebel spaceship striking from a hidden base. Now, the reason for the bounding box is so that we can justify the text. So what you want to do is select all the text and choose justify all. Now, the last sentence of the paragraph, we don't want that. So select just the last sentence of each paragraph and choose justify left. So do that for each of the paragraphs. And then we have a very Star Wars formatted text. Um, now, if you find that your bounding box isn't big enough, you can always expand it, and you have to be in text typing mode. So it, now, in other words, if I uh, am here, it will change the shape and size of my box. And if you're not, if you're just uh, in cursor mode, it will that will start to stretch your box, which is not what you want. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I do actually need to expand my box, so I'm going to do that. Go into text mode and get to the bottom of all the text. Whoops. Okay, still not big enough. There's a little more there. Custodian of the stolen planes that can save her people and restore freedom to the galaxy. Okay, that's what we want. And then uh, we can still play with the size a little bit. Okay, so let's just work with that. The next thing we want to do is uh, make this into a 3D layer. So down here, you can see I want to click this box. If you don't see it, you can toggle the modes. If you see uh, just the blending modes, that's not what we want. Toggle it to this mode, and we can pick, make that a 3D layer. Then the next thing we want to do is go ahead and let's bring up the position by typing P, hold down shift, press R and S for scale. So we brought the position, the scale, and the rotation. And the thing we want to do here is rotate along the X axis. And let's make that... Mm -hmm. Something like that. So that's about 290 degrees. And that's looking pretty close. Uh, then we want to scale it. So the scale looks pretty close for me, but you can scale it so that uh, when the first line of text comes on, 
you can read it clear across. In other words, the ends aren't cut off. Okay, the next thing we want to do is keyframe the position because this thing is not moving and we want it to move. And so go ahead and click the stopwatch on position. And uh, here you see I, I did that on the very first frame. And then let's go to the very last frame. Oh, and I set this composition to be one minute, by the way. The actual Star Wars opening crawl is a little over a minute, but I figure uh, nowadays people can read a little faster than they could way back in 1977. If you want to make yours longer, feel free, or shorter. And depending on what you're putting in the text, you know, you, you'll have to adjust. Let's go to the last frame. And also keyframe that. Okay, so for the starting position, let's go ahead and bring that down. Let's I'll leave that first line where we can see it. And then let's take uh, the Z space and move it forward in Z space. Okay, let me go back up. Okay, and then we'll go to the end. And we want Z space way back there. So it's disappeared about that far. We want it way back there. Something like that. Okay. Now let's just scrub through that and see how it looks. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, now let's go ahead and make some stars. What we want to do is uh, create... Let's create a new composition. And we'll call this star field. Okay. And what we want to do is create a new layer, a uh, layer solid black. Let's call this uh, the blackness of space. And that's going to be our background. Okay, now let's create another new layer. So layer, new, solid. Uh, this, let's call it stars. And the color doesn't matter because we are going to go to effect simulation and CC particle world. Okay, now move forward on the timeline a little bit so we can see some particles. Um, those are what we're going to make into stars. So let's go ahead and uh, look at some of the settings here. Let's change the birth rate to ah, 3, 4, 5, something like that. Let's try 5. Let's uh, make the longevity 4. Let's make, let's go to the physics. And in the physics, let's go ahead and change the gravity to 0. Let's go ahead and, and, and the particle, let's change the particle type to faded sphere. And then let's uh, reduce the size. So let's make the birth size 0 0.03. And let's make the death size pretty close to that 0 0.04. How about that? Okay. Now let's change the color, the birth color to white. And let, whoops, birth color to white. And the death color to also white. Ah, let's give it a little blue tint, though. So it's a little bit bluish, spacey. Okay, now if you want more stars, you can go back and uh, increase the birth rate. Or uh, if you want less stars, go less. Ah, let's just try something like that. So the next thing we want to do is bring this new composition in the project into our other composition. So let's go back to the Star Wars text composition and let's bring in that star field. And let's put it below the text layer. And that way it doesn't look like the stars are in front of our text. Okay, now the problem here though is that the stars are moving super fast. So that's kind of cool in itself, but that's not the way Star Wars works. 
So what we want to do is just take a section here and we're going to change the time so that it moves much slower. In fact, if we want it still, we could just set it to one frame. But what we want to go is right click, go to time and enable time remapping. So let's go ahead and do that. And that automatically sets uh, keyframes on the first and last, but it's the same as what, where we were. So from that point that we liked, let's go ahead and set a keyframe there. Let's just move ahead just a few frames, set a keyframe there, and then let's erase those other keyframes. So uh, by hitting these little arrows here, we can jump straight to the keyframes. We'll erase that one. Let's go to the end and erase that one. And then these new keyframes we made, let's stretch them out to the ends. And what that does is takes that little bit of time that we selected and stretches it over the whole period. So you can see those stars are still moving slightly. I kind of like it. It gives a little bit of motion, but actually it's uh, still a little bit much, I think. You see those? So if we want to slow it down even more, we can select a new keyframe. If we want to slow it down by half, go about halfway, make a new keyframe. I'm going to erase that last one that we just made. And now I'm going to bring this one clear to the end. And we have an even slower rate of stars. So most people won't even know that's moving, but it gives it a little bit of a dynamic feel to it. I like that. Let's, let's go with that. Okay, now we're just about done. The one thing that's missing is in Star Wars, you'll remember that the text fades off toward the top. So the way to fix that is to let's go toward the end of the sequence where uh, that text should be disappearing. Let's go to the star field and copy that. Command D. Let's move that copy up above the text. And what that does is it just completely uh, covers everything. So uh, to see what's under there, let's go ahead and change the opacity by hitting T on the keyboard. That brings the opacity settings. Let's drop it to 50% just temporarily. We'll bring it back to full opacity in a minute. And what we want to do on this field is create a mask around it. So make sure it's selected. Uh, go to the rectangle tool, select that. And then let's just draw a box. A nice box. Clear around our text. Okay, now what we want to do is under that new mask we created, let's look at the properties and let's feather it up a little bit. Let's feather it. I don't know, around 100, 97. And let's see what that does. Uh, let's go ahead and put the opacity back to 100%. And what we see is our text is starting to disappear, not starting to fade off, but it's actually fading too early. So what we want to do is click on that mask, click on our selection tool, and let's move that mask up. Let's try that. Okay, so now when the text gets there, it starts to fade off and goes into space. Let's move that up even a little more. How's that? And then we might even uh, feather it more so that uh, it disappears more gradually. Okay, and so we didn't get the whole thing to quite disappear there. We can either bring the mask down. Whoops. We can either bring the mask down a bit, or we can also go back to the text layer and move it back in Z space some more. There. So I moved it up and back a little bit, and then we can scrub back through it to see if it's still what we like. Okay, so now what we see happening here is that that text is disappearing. And that is just what we want. Okay, there you have it. Of course, you can customize this. You can put your own text in there. You can choose a different background. If you don't want stars, it could be anything, really. Uh, you can always adjust this, too. It looks like maybe it should actually be a little bit further 
in the back. So what you can do is just move it further back in Z space and also uh, move it whoops, higher in the Y spot. And now that's even looking more Star Wars-ish. Delete this guy here, delete. And there you have it.